Hi there, this is Heather with Active Fitness Group, and I'm gonna show you in this video some different ways that you can work out muscles in your legs. So this is going to focus on IT band, quads, hamstrings, calves, and all the different muscles in your legs, all the way up to your hip flexor, using a couple different configurations that I like to use. So we're gonna start out, this is my favorite way to start out, especially when your muscles are really tight, because you want to loosen them up a little bit before you dig in and get really targeted on the trigger points, just for pain and for easing the muscles through so you don't cause any damage. Because the whole point is to reduce damage and make this as easy on you as possible so you reduce injury and feel better. So starting out, just a few different ways. Anywhere on your legs to loosen up with the two large rollers pressed together. This is my favorite way to use this. Now you can do your body weight on the floor or you can do these things up against a wall if you want a little less resistance. So we're just gonna start out um, with the hamstrings. So you wanna set this underneath your leg and just kind of ease up and use your fingers and your legs to decide how much pressure you want using your own body weight. You can use all of your body weight, you can use just a little bit, keep your hips on the ground, whatever feels right for you. So you can start out and just press and roll through, just kind of at your own pace, coming through your hamstring. You can flip over and do this the same way on your IT band and just rolling through getting that nice and loosened up. You can flip completely over and use it on your quad. And again, just using as much or as little of your body weight as you'd like. Just coming through and rolling up and down there. And then you can do the same thing down on your calf again, rolling through with your body weight. So that's just a quick way to loosen up nice and easy, taking it gently um, to get all those muscles worked out before you really dig in there if you need to. Um, my favorite way to get really trigger pointed is with the scepter configuration with the body wrench. You can use a large roller for a kind of a larger pressure area that's a little less intense or the smaller roller that digs in a little bit deeper. So same idea here, onto your quads, onto your hamstrings, um, onto your calves anywhere, into your IT band. Um, the great thing about this, if you have the crossbar on this, as opposed to using the rollers separately or using a sports ball separately, is you have a handle and you have a little bit of control. So if I'm using this on my IT band, I can actually grab the handle, place it exactly where I want to instead of doing the balancing act on a loose sports ball and just rolling up and down and getting really intense down into those trigger point areas. And then lastly, in this configuration, you can really use this anywhere. And you can also use it just with your own pressure of your hands, just pushing up and down um, through those muscles, kind of wherever you feel, again, with the large roller or the small roller, just getting into all of those muscles. Um, another way that you can use this is just by grabbing the rollers, sitting or standing. I like to do most of these activities sitting because your muscles aren't tensed up. You're not using them to stand and hold up your body weight. So everything's nice and relaxed and you can dig in there a little bit better. So grabbing onto the rollers and just letting the crossbar uh, spin freely and just roll up and down your legs. Anywhere you need loosened up, just one more way to use it. Um, to get up into your hip flexors, love to use, again, just the scepter configuration, large roller, small roller, and you can just kind of lie down in there and just get into your hip flexor. Um, again, you can use your quad like this and anything that you'd like. And then last, one of my favorites to work out your legs is the sidecar configuration. Now in this, if you saw in the video on how to put these together, you can move these rollers along the crossbar so you can have them as close together or as far apart as you want, depending on how intensely you want to work into your muscles. So for this, um, my favorite is the calf muscle workout on this. So you want to bring the body wrench down, start at the bottom of your calf, grab onto the rollers, and you just roll up and it pinches in and just digs deep tissue into those muscles to really release. And the closer you move it together, the more intense and the more deep tissue you can get on this. You can use the same idea up onto your quads. Same thing, you can kind of see how it's just pulling my muscles up into it. And just moving it along your thigh so you can get into the IT band, so you can get down onto the hamstring, you can get your entire leg anywhere you want. Again, holding onto the rollers, starting at the smallest part of the muscle, and just rolling slowly as you go up. It pulls those muscles up in and just gets as deep tissue as you want. You can also flip it over and use the smaller rollers for less intense without even moving them on the crossbar. If you need to move them, just pop one side off, pull it out, and then move it just down one or two or however much you want to. Press back through and then press your smaller roller back on the other side and you're good to go. You can get a little bit more deep tissue a little further in there. So those are some of my favorites on your legs. Thank you very much.